What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network and I'm here to talk to you about the Nintendo Direct which is going to be happening later on in January. Of course in this time they usually reveal a lot of games, hot titles for the new year and this year is no exception. Now everyone is excited about it, we're all wondering what the hell is going down. There's rumors of an F-Zero game even coming in the works. I mean, well, slightly rumors. I'll explain that in another video. That's that's a whole other topic in itself. But um, we're, we're thinking about what games are going to be revealed for that um, for the for the Nintendo Direct Raw roster in turn well not the roster but you know the list of games anyways I was linked an image by someone on Twitter and I'll give the I'll give the shout out to jerk your information will be in the description below jerk sent me a picture which looks like it's from 4chan's V I don't know I'm, I'm really bad with these things but it looks like it's from 4chan's V and it details a list of all the games that apparently are going to be revealed at the Nintendo Direct in January so I mean I don't know. I mean, I want to say move forward with a, you know, without, you know, move forward and make sure that you understand you're going to be seeing some spoilers, but um, take it with a grain of salt, even less than a grain of salt, because in all honesty, when you see the list, it's not really all that breathtaking in terms of, you know, presentation. The game's on there, now that's another story, but I mean, all right, so I actually have Photoshop open right now. We're going to analyze this list 100%, so I've just pasted it, and like I said, you know, if this list is potentially real, you just got your warning before, so I mean, hey, and you got it in the title too. But anyway, so um, let's take a look at this and see exactly what they're offering at the Nintendo Direct. I didn't look at this myself yet. I, I simply just saved the image, and then I opened it in Photoshop right now. So what we're going to do is make this a little bit easier to read by rotating it. So let's do just that, and now that the, game, now that the games are here, so let's see, all right. This looks so fake, man. I only caught a glance of it before. I caught a glance of it and I saw it on my phone. I'm like, oh, I should read this on camera. Put my phone away, but I saw it look kind of cheesy. But I mean, well, it, I, I'm not saying the games. Just the presentation, just a sheet of paper with Nintendo at the top. Like, I don't know, dudes. But um, let's take a look at exactly what we have coming up here. So um, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so at the top it says, it has a Nintendo logo. And it says on Nintendo Direct, January 27, 2015, showcased software, internal use only. That sounds like something that somebody who made this in Photoshop would put there just to make it seem like this is a leaked fucking list. Like, it looks so cheap. There's not even any real official, like, other than the Nintendo logo, there's nothing really, I don't know, it just seems so intentionally cooked up by somebody because of the wording and just just from the vernacular that's used within labeling it, it seems like it's like you know someone just oh let me make it seem like this is some important in important stuff from nintendo that's being leaked huh? you know showcase the software internal use only i don't know it seems cliche to me but anyway so let's zoom in a little bit more actually and let's look at some of the games <clears throat> so nintendo now one other thing that i was worried about is that i don't know all these series you know, some of these will be long-standing series that I just don't know. I have never played them before. Don't kill me if I run across a series that I don't know and I'm like, confused on camera. But I mean, okay, so Nintendo 3DS software. Lost in Blue, Last Hope. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but it's going to be the first trailer revealed. Then we have Metroid 3D, um, Temp, which is going to have a teaser trailer. So something like, kind of like the Kingdom Hearts 3 um, trailer release, the first one that showed it was in development. Like, this one is going to be big because if Metroid 3D for the 3DS, like right here that it says, software, if that actually is a thing, then earlier the video that I covered where it was talking about a Metroid 3DS that was canceled could very well be the same game that's being referenced here. But once again, grain of salt. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, that's something that we know is going to probably be showing up in the Direct anyways. Monster Hunter 4 for the 3DS is a big game right now in Japan, so I mean, of course naturally it would see its way to America considering the success of Monster Hunter 3G. Um, this one's going to have a gameplay trailer and a release date, of course, no surprise there, to be honest. Project Steam, I don't know what the hell this is, downloadable special mission gameplay. I don't know if Project Steam is an actual game right now. Um, like I said, I'm not exactly informed on all these titles, but um, let me know in the comments um, what you know about this. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 for the 3DS. Now the first game came out for the 3DS as well, but it was a remastered version, so it was a lot more voice acting. And if you don't know, I'm heavy into um, Devil Survivor. Like, I mean, 
you know, you learn little things about me as we progress. You know, Devil Survivor was an amazing game. I played it thoroughly. I beat every single ending. My favorite characters are Atsuro and um, what's what's her name? What's her name? Oh, Yu Yuzu. <laughs> I mean, of course, because Yuzu was bad as fuck. <laughs> I mean, she kind of puts me in mind of an older Misty. But I mean, um, the characters in that game were so. Actually, no, no, screw that. I liked um, I liked Atsuro and Yuzu a lot. But my favorite character was Naoya. Yo. Naoya was a badass motherfucker, man. Although Yuzu could get it. Yuzu, Yuzu, she she was my favorite character in terms of bad chicks. Like I like her, but Naoya, that was a cool dude. No, you know, no homo, no offense to my homosexual peeps. I, I love y'all, but you know, not but Naoya was cool as fuck though. And plus, spoilers. You know, mute the video right now if you don't want spoilers. The fact that he was the reincarnation of Cain from the Bible? What? <gasps> that was a huge blow up in my mind. And the fact that Cain was subjected to infinite reincarnation because he killed um, Abel? Dude, what kind of shit is that? God condemns you to infinite reincarnation because you killed, you were the first murderer? That was, and then he wanted revenge against, I'm gonna fucking kill God, I swear. <sighs> Yeah, he was amazing. I, fuck, I'm sorry, guys. I love Shin Megami Tensei just for the music and the characters. The characters were so deep, man. Everybody had like this insane backstory to them, and some super, and some super justified purpose that made them so memorable. You know, it was so crazy, man. I, I love that game. Favorite, favorite ending, of course, was with Naoya. And then when you find out that Lucifer is the one who did it all. <laughs> I mean, the bells were one thing, but you see this nigga Lucifer chilling in the city like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I did this shit. What, you wanna fight? All right, nigga. He's the strongest boss in the game. <laughs> He's not even the main one. What up? Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm letting I'm letting my fanboys show, but Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor was amazing. Anyway, so Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. A gameplay trailer. This isn't too much of a surprise either, so I mean, you know, obviously we're going to be seeing more of it when it was revealed. It was revealed earlier, so I mean, of course, naturally, we'll be seeing more stuff. Now, Nintendo new 3DS software. These are games which are going to be revealed that are only for the new 3DS. So you can't play these on the old one. You know, the new 3DS is kind of sending the old 3DS out of you know shipping anyway. So I mean, hey, Bayonetta, John's Showdown. So we got some more games other than Xenoblade, which is going to be coming out for the new 3DS. And you guys keep telling me Xenoblade is a massive game, Etika. A massive game. I really want to play Xenoblade. You know, I like Schultz's character a lot. You know, um, I, I, lo I love Australians. I'm just saying that to fuck with y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying that to fuck with y'all. But I love Australians. So, I mean, yeah, seeing Shulk on the handheld will be amazing. New 3DS is better hardware, can handle bigger games. That's why I'm saying the new 3DS is going to send this 3D, old 3DS out, of course. We're going to be seeing a lot stronger titles come from it. Dr. Kawashima's new brain age training. Improve your memory. No big surprise there. Um, new Okami, The Last Story, and Xenoblade Chronicles. Chronicles is expected. The Last Story, no idea what that is. And Okami, it sounds familiar, but I don't recognize it from anywhere. Let's see if we can pull up some information. Okami. Oh, Okami, the uh, uh, um, uh, Atsumaru. Oh yeah. Oh, the the dog with the paint. That'd be great to see again. Okami was a game that debuted on the DS. So seeing this come back on the 3DS would be amazing. It was one of the best games on the DS, as you can see, with these amazing scores from IGN and Metacritic. This was an amazing game. I had Okami. But I, it's just, I'm sorry I didn't remember it as soon as I saw the title. It's just been so long since I played that game. It's so old, so seeing an update would be amazing. Now, the last story, what would that be? I don't know. We're going to search this right now. The last story. What is it? Whoa, I've seen this game before. I saw this game in GameStop a lot of times. It's got some good scores, too. But, um, damn, this looks pretty amazing. Kind of puts me in mind of some Final Fantasy jump off, man. Damn, this year's gonna have a lot of stuff going on, dude. Already, you know, 2015 just started, and I'm already hyped for the games that are going to be potentially released, man. Final Fantasy 15 being one of the biggest titles in my eyes, but Xenoblade Chronicles for the new 3DS being another one, I am definitely, when I, by the time Xenoblade Chronicles comes out, I will be moved into my new place and have like so many more hours to work on my videos other than now. I'll have a ton of free time, so I'm probably going to be doing a playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles for the new 3DS. 
I would have probably attempted to do it earlier, but you know, you know, limitations while well, I'm still here, and you know, it's a massive game, so I don't think I would have the time for it right now since my time is so limited. Anyway, so let's move forward to the Wii U because as I've said in my Twitter post before, I love the Wii U. It's an adorable console. This thing has been giving me so much pleasure and entertainment lately. It's awesome. I love it. The fact that you can play it remotely, big pluses for me. Anyway, so um, Nintendo Wii U, we have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, um, a DLC pack for it, so that's going to be pretty cool. I heard that game's got good scores. Fire Emblem. <gasps> Fire Emblem! Oh! Oh, oh, this list better not be playing with me. Oh, shit. Whoa. Fire Emblem. Yo. This list better not be playing with me, man. I don't know, guys. This isn't. We're getting serious now. We're getting serious now. Fire Emblem Grima's. I mean, excuse me. Grima's Vengeance for Wii U. <sighs> Teaser trailer. <gasps> These niggas. Oh, man. This is fake. This gotta be fake. Why would they release Fire Emblem for the Wii U? Or maybe it did so well in Awakening and they realized the system worked so perfectly that they got for it that they're willing to put it to a fucking console? I don't know guys, I don't know. Take this list with a grain of salt, but as of now, this shit got me hype. I mean, I was hype already before with some of these earlier announcements. Like you guys saw, like I, I was pretty damn hype about Xenoblade. Or, I mean, Okami was pretty cool, too, to see coming on the new 3DS. And even, you know, even Devil Survivor 2, I had some, you know, I had a bit of a boner for. I mean, but, damn, Metroid, oh, man. But, damn, you know, the fact that they're bringing Metroid 3D, which they said was a canceled title, I don't know, dog. This list is really getting me hype. I don't know, man. January 27th is going to be crazy, dude. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, baby. Okay. Fire Emblem, Grima's Vengeance. Okay, next game is Mar Mario Galaxy and the Rainbow Curse. It's obvious to see that even though the title's cut off. So I mean, of course that'll, Amiibo functionality and gameplay trailer. I would be excited about it, but I don't like Mario, so I mean, that has nothing to do with me. No no offense to my Mario people out there, but I'm not a Mario guy. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, Super Mario Wii U, or no surprise. Um, something else is here too. Something else, something with an X Wii U. I don't know what that could be. I don't know what that could be. Something X we this is actually bad because this is the only game that we're seeing here that has a gameplay trailer and a release date. We don't know what the fuck it is. Every other title here we can see, but this one's obscure because the picture's cut off. How strange. And then finally we have on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Mewtwo gameplay trailer, of course, to be expected, you know. Um, that, no surprise there, man. Like the Mewtwo thing, obviously. But what is this game? Something O X? It's really tough to make out. Like, that's too little information for us to actually piece something together. But if it says Wii U, then I don't know. I don't really, I really don't know. But um, what do you guys think of this list? Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Nothing here is confirmed, and nothing here is guaranteed. Definitely remember that. I don't know how official this is, but definitely one of the biggest things I'm excited for is Fire Emblem Grima's of Vengeance. If that comes out for the Wii U, oh my god. And apparently according to this list, there's going to be a teaser trailer, so no gameplay. But still, this is something to keep your eyes on. Make sure that when, you know, I'm of course, if you want to um, know more information about the live stream, I'm going to be live streaming myself watching the live stream. So a live reaction to the live stream from my um, from my viewpoint on January 27th. So you'll be able to see what's happening at the moment and you know react with me. That's exactly what happened with the Mewtwo reaction. That wasn't a video that I recorded and me watching it the first time. I was watching the live stream while live streaming myself watching it the entire time and I just simply clipped my reaction to Mewtwo. Um, the rest of the live stream was pretty cool, but I mean the Mewtwo reaction was obviously the high point. So I mean, same thing's going down on the 27th. I'm gonna be live streaming myself watching this. Either way, even if this list isn't real, I'm expecting some really big Juggernaut titles and some big shockers as well too, in terms of the direct. So I mean, either way, we're gonna get something that we didn't expect, something that we're excited for. So um, yeah, either way guys, I will talk to you in the next video. Let me know your opinions on this list and how valid you feel like it is. Are you somebody who has access to leaks? Are you someone who manages to work in the company somehow? Can you confirm some of this information for us without losing your job? It'd be amazing if you could. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.